So this is my haul for the uh, 9th of July. Um, started off with this pair of bent nose pliers uh, marked CK on them. It is um, stamped in there and not just um, etched on. CK of course, as Nash will tell, tell you, is Carl Kameling. Reasonable brand. Um, jaws look really good. Um, it's got uh, no trashing of the cutting edges. And all in all, I think uh, they'll clean up really well. Uh, this I picked up was £2. And um, I picked it up because it is um, you know, a nice looking, possibly brass piece. Um, it is a grease gun of sorts. Um, you just push push the top there and it's coming out the end. Um, easy enough to refill. Just unscrew the cap, fill it up. Um, yep, yeah, my third grease gun in as many weeks, more or less, I think. I'm happy with that. Uh, two more medical instruments, a scalpel and a pick. The pick is um, looks like an ash. Just marked 69, no other markings on there. So I don't know if it, it might be just a copy. Um, but, you know, very handy. And this uh, scalpel, made in England. Paragon. Um, quite sharp. The uh, the two together were a pound, and the um, the seller told me they came out of a um, vet's practice. Uh, this was a pound F clamp, uh, not as rusty as some I picked up recently. Um, some punches, it's a couple of super long ones. Um, knurling is in very good condition on the handle. Um, I've not noticed any marks or markings on them yet, uh, so I don't know if they're branded. And another little punch or set, and that's Paramo France. Um, can't remember how much I paid for those, possibly a couple of quid. Uh, this was a pound. Yet another one inch micrometer, and this one is um, brown and sharp, which is a premium US maker, as you probably know. Um, Providence, Rhode Island. Um, brilliant action on it, nice and smooth, happy with that. And these two little uh, miniature wrenches. Uh, this one is marked made in England with a patent number. I uh, can't see anything else on it but it does have an action. Um, an unusual cutaway in the jaws there. I don't know if that's um, deliberate or has been made bigger by somebody um, perhaps. I suspect it might just have been a parallel um, gap there at one point uh, in a similar fashion to how these are and this one works just fine as well made in England on there and Webmore Something pat patent, perhaps. Now let's have a look. It says prof pat. Anyway, I thought that's quite neat. It's only a tiny little thing. Four inches. Um, so uh, those were from one seller. I can't remember how much paid. 
Um, and the other item was, in fact, this toolbox. Um, so it's got a screw instead of a pin holding the lock together there. So you can't quite clamp down. That one does still work, but it doesn't, uh, it's not very tight. And, and it does have some drawers. <laughs> so it did contain some bits and pieces. This is some of its contents. Um, so a depth stop for a drill uh, is handy. A couple of Stanley blades, a couple of um, Bosch jigsaw blades. Uh, look like rough cut ones. A uh, rule from a um, set square with a drill bit. Don't quite know what that is. Collar of some sort. Some fixings. Uh, pencil eraser. It is quite beaten up as a toolbox, but the reason I brought it home was because as the vendor told me the price and I walked away um, he then said alright you can have it for three pounds um, so it's not typewriter ribbons it's got this um, centre finder with gradations on it A couple of small hinges, a tiny spanner, and went some um, new slots to adjust. So I think they're just um, feeler gauges of some sort. Uh, that was a purchase. Uh, this was inside the toolbox. So that's a. Um, a cutter of adjustable uh, width circle cutter and a terry spanner 4BA 5BA BA stands for British Association and it's a set of measurements for knots um, widely used in the electronics industry um, so uh, did I say in the end um, I paid £3 for that, uh, which I thought wasn't bad.